what equals 1 plus 1? I bet that most of you are going to tell me that it equals 2, because this is the most normal answer. But some of you might want to give me a more smart answer or a more abstract answer and tell me that it equals 1 or 0. Well, I'm here to tell you that the first answer, that it equals 2, is wrong. 1 plus 1 has never equaled 2. And here's why. We imagine math like it's our base in life. Like we have one pencil, we go to the shop, we buy another pencil, and we think that we have two. But if you cut an apple in half, one half plus one half equals two halves, or one whole apple, it's all about perspective. I want to walk you through my perspective, because I'm a student at the art high school, and I study music. In my years of development, I had to do the one thing that I don't like, I actually hate the most, to trust people and not just trust them, to rely on them, to rely that, that they are going to be there for me and do the things that they should do. Uh, to be more precise, I study canto, I study vocal singing, everything from opera to despacito. <laughs> but uh, one day, my teacher walked into the room with such joyful energy and said, you are going to sing a duet with your colleague. Actually, it was supposed to be a third Latino. We were supposed to be three people singing, but there was a black sheep, so we had to do it on our own. All right, I agree. I said it's going, it's going to be perfect. All I have to do is to learn my part, study my part, and sing my part. My colleague is going to do the same, and the magic will happen. And guess what? It did. We were just like robots. You press the button, and you hear sounds. There were sounds, but it wasn't music. And my teacher said, no, this, this is not going to work. You have to listen, but you don't have to listen to yourself to be perfect, to seem flawless. Because none of you are aware of the other. You have to listen to each other. So I tried to. I tried to focus on my colleague. I started to listen to his voice, and something magical happened. Our voice weren't just singing at the same time. They were singing along. In that moment, I realized that one plus one, for me, does not equal two. Our voices were, weren't just like my voice, plus my colleague's voice, our two voices singing. We were more like the waves of the sea. When two waves smash into each other, they create thousands of other waves, millions of other vibrations in the, in the water. So for me, one plus one equals infinity. But for other people, one plus one might equal a relationship or a happy marriage. And maybe for most of the people, one plus one simply equals two, which is great. They are going to be great on math. They are going to make a lot of money, ish. But don't just stop there. Be curious. You have to go through life listening to each other. And these two things, I want to remain in your brain when you walk on that door today. To listen to the people around you, and not just listen, pay attention to them, and search for what one plus one equals to you. Thank you very much.